This dude, this dude right here, is overrated. So, Melania is pretty much known as the hardest boss ever created in a From Software game. Speed, power and resilience, Melania is a boss which requires a special kind of patience for players using so-called basic playstyles. Me personally, when I first fought the boss, uh, I was basically backed into a corner. The corner in which I had to tell myself, it's time to get good. That's right, it was time to master parrying against Melania. And honestly, it shouldn't be too difficult getting down the timing on many of her attacks. Indeed, some of her attacks cannot be parried, such as... The infamous Waterfowl Dance. This attack has insane reach, insane tracking and insane damage. Most players not using a shield or not having enough HP will simply not survive the attack should they find themselves at an insufficient starting distance, as the most known way to dodge this attack is being able to first run away in time. Melania unleashes this attack in three burst intervals. If you are able to run away from the first interval, then it is easy to dodge the rest of the attack, if you know how. It is actually possible to await the first attack burst when up close, but it still requires time, not to mention fine-tuned finesse when moving without being locked on. It is basically a trick which the average player will most likely never discover on their own, even with multiple attempts at experimenting. Basically, the waterfowl dance is the main reason most players are not able to defeat Melania, a big factor being the fact she regenerates every single time she hits you. So, how exactly is this related to the beloved Let Me Solo Her? Well, it's simply because he was basically the first person to call out other players on their idiotic insanity. Like, holy shit! If you are a player who's been trying to help other players defeat Melania, then you should know exactly what I'm talking about. There are so many insane players who rely on sheer luck even if they survive Melania's first attack interval. In that sense, helpers also have to rely on sheer luck. All we can do is hope Melania isn't targeting the host when she activates Waterfowl. So yeah, the creator of Let Me Solo Her basically said fuck it, you guys are too stupid to try anything different, so let me show you how it's done. Don't bother taking notes or anything of the sort, just stay out of this and stop wasting everyone's time. One thing everyone should know is that bosses have a harder time tracking on helpers. Because of this, if you are a helper and not a host, you can actually run away from Melania's waterfowl, even when she activates it up close to you. I have probably also tried to help fight Melania at least 1000 times, and after everything I've seen, I now grant Melania the title of the game's insanity tester. Let me solo her was basically the first person to tell all of them, you are never going to pass. So just stop trying. Why is it that he became famous enough to have a community creating fan art of his character, even having the Vatividia post a video with a thumbnail dedicated to him, while I took the same tough love approach, difference being I offered sound advice, but instead of being listened to, I got criticized for telling people how to play the game, while this pothead told everyone to not play the game, yet get worshipped for it. Big surprise, there are a lot of Let Me Solo Her out there, me being one of them. So, in conclusion, while I completely understand why the character was created, someone actively telling other people not to play the game just doesn't sit right with me. He has become overwhelmingly famous in the community, but not for the right reason, I don't think. If you think otherwise, then fine. But if you get upset at people telling you how not to play the game in certain instances, then you should be at least equally upset at a name such as this. This has been a video about why Let Me Solo Her is overrated.